I know what your children want for Christmas and this holiday season can make it a little bit easier on you. And uh, Sony's blocking stimulus checks. That's crazy. And I want to know what you want from the Game Awards. Let's get into these topics. <laughs> Welcome back to Xbox Frontline News with your boy, The King. Now, I want to know, you know, the Game Awards is something that a lot of people look forward to every year. You know, maybe you're looking forward to see if your favorite game is being nominated. Maybe you're looking forward to see who's going to be at the show. Uh, what, what new trailers might pop up, what consoles might be shown. You eat, we go for the pomp and circumstance. We also go for the flair of it all. We may not always agree, but one thing we can agree on is that we struggled hard uh, to be recognized and taken seriously. And as humans, we all have flaws. So there's no doubt that the Game Award has flaws. But united we stand and divided we fall. So united we stand together in this whole Game Awards uh, thing that we both love. You know, we all love this. So I'm going to give a shout out to Jeff Keighley for, you know, um, holding the line and making our chosen medium, you know, bring it into a different light of respectability prominence, if you will, you know, uh, to put it in a place where marketing and, you know, ad revenue and stuff like that can actually happen. And I saw he went out of his way to make sure that if you wanted to partner with him to stream the event on your channel, you know, and that, that'd drive traffic to your channel because you're streaming it and you won't be hit, uh, with, a lot of stuff so I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff that goes behind it um, I don't know if I might stream it myself but probably so I don't know I don't know but I know ILP will be definitely looking at it all right so my question to you is what do you want and what do you expect to see at the game awards what is your personal what what do you go to the game awards to see what what is your thing uh, my prediction this year is Xbox that you know now that Sarah Bond is in charge of Xbox, you get a chance to see what her leadership would be. And I think she wants to make a stamp and and and, and with a lot of flair and being that a lot of eyes will be here, I think that you're going to see Game Pass marketed heavily. Uh, whatever exclusive deals that we were working on in the background, that stuff would be front and center. You know, my bold prediction is uh, Boulder's Gate 3 wins Game of the Year and it's announced inside Game Pass that day. Shadow Drop, physicals being released the following week. And, um, and Phil comes out and accepts the award because Larian Studios is now owned by Microsoft Xbox. And I think that will bring the rafters down so hopefully we get a chance to see gears hopefully we get a uh you know a chance to see uh avowed uh and um i'm gonna see some perfect dark so hopefully we get a chance to see that hopefully microsoft put that stamp on this game awards and we keep the boot on their neck <laughs> so you love fortnite i love fortnite we know I love me some Fortnite. Man, I ain't even get a chance to play Fortnite today. Boy. But thank God I don't play on PlayStation. Ooh, we. 
play. Thank God I don't play over there. No Fortnite over there. Because, you know, from what I hear, you know, we know F Epic likes to sue everybody, right? Epic, you know, the makers of the Unreal Engine. So check it out. Epic sued Apple, you know, for in-game purchases and stuff like that and called it a monopoly. Well, they got rejected and stuff like that. Court. But right now, they're fighting uh, Google. And it came out of Google that, you know, during all, you know, the files and stuff like that, they checked it out. We're getting to see all the shady underhandings that Sony actually does to try to stay the leader in the marketplace with faking numbers and all this stuff. So all this stuff is coming out. We're actually seeing the emperor with no clothes. Pause. Mm. And it's ugly. It is ugly. What we're seeing right now, Sony didn't want us to see. But Epic out here spilling the tea. So check it out. Epic told us that they can't lower the cost inside the PlayStation Store because PlayStation has this uh, multi-favored nations clause, the MFN. Ooh, that sounds like it ain't fun, but they actually doing it, right? So check it out. They, you can't put uh, prices lower than what is average inside the PlayStation Store. So PlayStation is, you know, blocking our stimulus checks. Like, we trying to get our rebate check back. We trying to get some money back here. And Sony's on the, mm -mm, man. I got to get my money off the top, B. I don't want no sales in here. Hells to the no. And Epic like, come on, man. We made a boatload of bread. Let's give some back to the peoples. Sony said, man, it's in the contract, man. M MFN. MFN, MFN, MFN. Hell to the no. So Sony's blocking our stimulus checks. But good thing they about to become an app. <laughs> but yo, in all seriousness, yo, check it out right now. That's kind of crazy. I know some greedy corporations in my time, man. But you want to talk about squeezing the little man and the fact that you're able to give back something, something, something meaningless. Something, a little bit of something. Ah, I smell, I smell another class action lawsuit. I'll be in on this one because Aza plays in Fortnite. Bad bit. <laughs> the rise of the indigo child. These children are born to this digital era. And if you're wondering, if you're a parent like me that grew up in, look at me, man. All this physical stuff around me. My son don't care two craps about it. He said, oh, that's, that's cute, daddy. That's nice. Mm. Sees comic books. Mm. And maybe he's not into my hobby, right? Okay, okay. But uh, ask him if he wants some V-Bucks. Oh, his eyes get big. Digital currency, subscriptions. And um, Microsoft must have had a crystal ball. And a lot of these subscription services... Uh, saw the trends and where it was going and physical was a dying dead medium um, and only us dinosaurs are holding on to it only us gray beards well the ESA went out and um, it came back only 22% of children uh, want physical games or, or toys this holiday and uh, I saw it very early on with my son he doesn't like uh, you know, physical toys. I brought him on physical toys and he just really never cared for it. But video games and digital stuff, he did. And Game Pass helps me save a lot and, you know, play, uh, PlayStation uh, Plus, that's uh, pretty helpful. And Nintendo service is pretty helpful as well. Uh, this holiday season, if you're looking, if you have an Indigo child like, uh, like myself, you know, this uh, new child, these uh, Age of Aquarius children. If you have one of these children, I suggest go digital with your purchasing. Um, saves time, saves effort. And just, you know, try to figure out exactly where their passions lie. And, you know, purchase in that direction. Because it's nothing worse than a, than a parent. Like, you know, because I would get disappointed when I purchased his stuff and he didn't like it. I still have his 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 first physical uh, robot toy. He didn't care, but I, I cared about it more than he did. Uh, so, you know, the world is changing. And, you know, us dinosaurs have to change with the world. 
and these indigo children are already ahead of the curve you know uh grandchildren play on digital stuff they, they already know the phones and stuff like that so understand where their interests lie and it will save you a boatload of cash but um like follow and subscribe xbox frontline news this is lord king where i drop videos daily and if you're a member you get a chance to see all these statues that i do kos that's king of the statues that drops on tuesdays so you remember you can jump in there combat talk with the king I uh, do a, a post and a, a pre and a post on the weigh-in, prediction of the fight, videos, all that stuff, uh, right before the fight and after the fight, still stuff goes up, members only as well. But the 6.30 Friday Xbox Frontline News Show is live and it's a call-in show. So please like, follow, and subscribe, share it out. And let's 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 keep our boot on Sony's neck. This generation, they're gonna hear your voice. And Fridays, I give you that opportunity to say what's on your chest and to get it out to the world. So no more are you suffering on Twitter. No more are you sitting there talking to yourself in the car. I can't believe they Starfield didn't get voted. <laughs> None of that stuff. Come on the show, I give you a voice, and that's not for members. That's for everyone who subscribes, follows, shares it out. Peace and blessings. See you tomorrow.